The Anko Borrowers Scheme, a partnership between the Federal and Central Bank of Nigeria, was designed to create economic linkages between smallholder farmers and processors towards cutting down importation of major foodstuff in the country's needs by boosting output of smallholder farmers. This is based on the statistics which indicates that smallholder farmers are the major producers of food in Nigeria. In spite of this, access to quality inputs, modern farming equipment as well as financial constraints are major challenges facing the smallholder farmers. It is in the light of this that the Anchor Borrowers Program was initiated to address these challenges by providing financial support at a single-digit interest rate to farmers. 40 billion naira was set aside to support the program under the CBN 220 billion naira micro small and medium enterprise fund. Reports indicate that there has been tremendous increase in the production of major staples, especially rice, in all states which embraced the CBN Anchor Borrowers Program. The Anchor Borrowers Scheme has raised the status of smallholders farmers to large growers, thereby boosting national production of the commodity. And Cross River is one of the states that have keyed into the CBN Anchor Borrowers Program with the aim of boosting rice production. The people of Cross River State support your rice and Borrowers program. We support it fully. We support the dream of Mr. President, President Buhari, who believes that this country should be self-sufficient in rice production. He's a president who has not only shown that we must do so, but he has followed it with action. He has cashed back his action, and he has a CBN governor who has so much energy and verb that he's following up the action going to every place they have put money to ensure that the money is put on the ground. The state government has applied for 3 billion naira under the scheme, targeting over 70,000 farmers across the state. We want President Buhari to remain convinced that his dream, with the support of CBN, that Cross River State and Nigeria will be rise sufficient, that Cross River State is going to participate in that struggle. We should continue the battle and that the central bank stands ready to give support to anybody, both the, the rice farmers or some of the large farmers who are interested, not just in rice cultivation, but also in cultivating other agricultural produce with which you can feed our people. Officials of the APES Bank and that of the Rice Farmers Association have commenced disbursement of farming inputs to registered rice farmers before giving the beneficiaries the items which include seeds, fertilizers, irrigation equipment and chemicals, their data such as size of farmland and its location as well as residential address were captured. <laughs> What we have in place now is to ensure that all genuine farmers benefit from the program. All genuine farmers will benefit. We have launched a process where all the farmland will be mapped. You now have your exact hectare of land. All participating farmers will have their biometrics taken. And to improve on that, we also have a biometric card, electronic card. So there is traceability. Everybody has a card. If you don't have a card, you cannot participate. Your farmland will have been mapped and everything will have been loaded into that card. But also with technology, if there are any itches, any delays, please you bear with us because we are launching it in Cross River for the first time. The loan is given to you at 9%. It's given to you in kind. 
So what you have, you have all the inputs. You have the seedlings, you have the chemicals, pre-emergent, post-emergent, you have the fertilizer, you have the water pumps, everything is given to you. And you are expected to cultivate and you are expected to repay back with your paddy. Central Bank Governor Godwin Emefile, who was represented at the distribution center by the Acting Director of Communications in Calabar, says the program is open for all farmers. The CBN mechanism that CBN has put in place to ensure that only genuine farmers take part in the Anchor Borough's program. Um, there have been cases in the past where political farmers and other serious farmers come in, collect the money and they bolt away. So, but this time we have decided to ensure that we enumerate the farmers biometrically and geophysically, such that even their thumbprints, their BVN, everything about them is, in a, is collected in a card. And that we can also, on the satellite, look, be able to locate their farms, so that inputs, and including money, are uh, distributed to them based on the piece of land, based on the hectare of land, or their farmland that they have. And so it is done in, a, in order to ensure that only genuine farmers get our resources and that the farmers are able to harvest and pay back because we have all the facts about them. The representative of Rise Farmers Association commended the leadership of the central bank for the support, especially in the smooth running of the Anchor Borrowers program. Um, I was made aware that this, the, the program was not that uh, take wealth received in the south and it was totally due to a lack of communication, lack of awareness, many things. When I got to Cross River, we recognized that there was a lot of potential to do rice cultivation here and we started engaging the state government on joining the program. That was like eight months ago and from there a lot of work and effort has gone in. So to date um, we have managed to get 12,000, in the range of 12,000 farmers of the state to participate in this wet season farming. Obviously our goal is to increase that numbers at least by another 30%, 40% over the next couple of seasons and we envisage that we want to do at least a minimum of three seasons in this state. Two wet seasons, one dry season. So yes, uh, where we will have two, two dry seasons in the north, we will have two wet seasons here. So yes, um, we look forward to continuing our partnership with Cross River because the governor is extremely passionate about rice cultivation in this state and we want to support that that goal but also we want to support the farmers in Cross River State to, to make to ensure that they become sustainable rice farmers and we want to thank Central Bank for believing in the association for for believing that the association can play such a vital role ensuring um, rice uh, farming in Nigeria remains sustainable and also to to that to one <laughs> the central bank is helping um, the president realize his vision of no more importation of rice so central bank thank you very much sir and we are telling everybody that with the staff strength of 12,000 farmers and above we are going to increase yes today we are happy we are very happy farmers because land preparation has become easy with the introduction of equipment Improved variety of rice, courtesy of rice company, has made everybody very happy. The rice which we collect from the rice company are either in seeds or in seedlings. They are both planted manually or mechanically. We have equipment on ground that plant rice in Cross River, and they are extended around the whole state. With the receipts of uh, chemicals, the challenges we have encountered earlier in farming to herbicide or to clear bushes is no more there. We also have chemicals that will select grasses and kill in our rice farm. We also have the same chemical that will prevent diseases in our farms. This has encouraged everybody to farm. And since this is the beginning, we expect that by the year 2020 it is going to be increased.
we increase to, we intend to increase our strength from that 12,000 staff now up to 55 and to have up to to compete in the state more than any other state by the year 2020. Beneficiaries are optimistic that the CBN support is coming at the right time, believing that it will boost their yields. It will help our yield in a very way, big way because we are expecting a bumper harvest this year. They have given us some seedlings here which I have uh, planted. My farmers are even there cultivating right now. And it's a laudable project. I'm happy that it's the first of its kind. So it will go a long way to assist people like us. Before now, I was producing less than the hectare that I'm going into now. But with this assistance now, I have decided to go into 10 or 15 hectares within this rainy season period. It's an awesome thing. It's a wonderful program. Because like what they are doing now, instead of giving money to farmers, they bring it in the form of inputs. So that you must make use of that input in your farm, if you are a real farmer. But sometimes when more cash is given to people, they divert it. But with this system that the digital governor brought, that inputs will be given to you. Because most times our farms don't do well because we don't have good inputs to use in our farms. Like some people have been using their rice for the past five years. And you find out that the first year your yield will be okay, it keeps on going down. But with this new uh, inputs they are giving to us, we are sure that we are going to do well and also our yield in the farm will be better. We are actually very surprised. Some of us, when we are doing it, we say, ah, it's one of those things. But let us just go and do it. But we are shocked today that what we're looking at, maybe not a very serious matter, has turned out to be a very serious matter. Especially the, act, the idea of uh, the pumps, to pump water into our farms. You know, farmers have suffered in the past because of drought, you plant your farm, no water. But with what they have given to us, we can farm all year round. This is the first time in the history of Cross River States that we are going to start with what they call dry season farming. We are actually going to do it with the hand pumps that they have given to us. So it's a wonderful improvement in Cross River State. And I want to particularly, you know, appreciate the governor for taking women into this program. You know, most time think, men think it is all men affairs. Farming is all for men. But today, we are going to showcase that women are going to do this farming and we are going to move to the next level. Representatives of the Central Bank Governor and other bank officials were taken round the newly inaugurated rice seed production factory. And the center put in place by the state government has also enjoyed the central bank's support. It is incredible the kind of progress that has been made. And as Central Bank of Nigeria, we are very glad to be in partnership with the Cross River State Government and with the Rice Farmers Association here. And we are very happy with the progress we have made. Indeed, I want to mention that the, this seedlings factory is also a product of another CBN um, program, the, the Commercial Agri um, Credit Scheme. And so we are very pleased. Uh, people who used to say that um, this program is only in the north should come to Cross River State and witness the incredible progress that has been made. The farmers are responsive. Rifan has been very cooperative, the state government is very determined, and the entire value chain, including the seed multiplication, the seed making, is also present here. So we look forward to a very heavy harvest from um, Cross River State. And so the goal, the objective of making Nigeria a rice-sufficient rice nation and a net exporter of rice is on, the, on course to be attained. And in Enugu, State, 5,000 farmers have so far embraced the program and farm inputs were handed over to them by officials of the central bank. I hand over this bag of fertilizer to you to be used in your farm. And please make sure you do not breach the rules of this, of this project. And as, our, and as long as you keep to the rules, we pray that God will bless the hard work of your hands Amen. and that you have particular habits. Amen. Thank you very much. I hand over this CBM branded bag of fertilizer to be used in your farm for greater harvests and to the glory of God. Thank you.
Central Bank of Nigeria is no longer that bank that used to be far away from people. That the Central Bank of Nigeria has come closer to the people now and that the welfare, the well-being of, a, of the ordinary Nigerian on the street, in the farm, at home, is now what determines all policies in the Central Bank of Nigeria. You have also sent me to tell you that the principle that guides this project is the and principle of collecting money and paying back. That if you collect and, and produce and sell and you pay back, you will collect again. Um, the love portion of banks, including us, is when you collect money from them, you pay back. If you collect 20 naira from them, you pay back. You collect another 30, you pay back. Next time when you come back, they will say, come and take 100 naira. And so that is the only way this program can work. And we are happy to say that so far it is going well in other places. And Enugu will not be an exception. We are happy to say that, well, with this card, Everything about you is in the card. Yes. Not only your address, not only your name, not only your face, but your thumbprint, which you don't share with anybody. All your biometrics are there, including the piece, your farm, sure. where your farm is located. We did this, we spent a lot of money doing it because we know that people may present themselves at first fake farmers, political farmers, all kinds of farmers. And that has led to the failure of so many other projects in the past. Today with this, there is you can't run away to anywhere. So the alternative, the only option open to you is to pay back and then take another one. You'll be expanding. For over a long time, they feel Enugu states are not rice farmers. But we are breaking the gene now and we are happy. And we are more happier again that the inputs are here with us. We have been collecting it and we are using it. Again, for us, we feel that as rice farmers in the state, that is refund, that every of our projects should be handed over to us. And CBN through GFO have been doing it. It is a low interest loan at maximum of 9%. And once you pay back, you can come back again and assess the facility. If you don't pay back, it will be difficult for other farmers to assess the loan. So we are appealing to you. Let's make this very successful. And once we kickstart this, I can assure you that the next season and the upper and the next season, we are going to double the number of farmers as much as we can. Right? So please be patient with us in Central Bank. This is technology. It is not unlikely that once in a while there might be delays in the technology or it fails. Or I can assure you that every farmer that has been mapped that has this biometric card will collect the input. Thank you very much. All the farmers benefiting from the program have been linked to off-takers, while the loan, which is at a 9% interest rate, will be recovered through Unity Bank in the two states. Unity Bank, even before consolidation, the constituent banks have uh, always been at the forefront of supporting agriculture. If, now that we are consolidated, Unity Bank has about the highest number of um, rural presence among the, uh, across the Nigerian banks. And so naturally, agriculture comes as a second nature. And so it, didn't, it wasn't a surprise that uh, we will be at the forefront of partnering with CBN in this laudable program. See, when Central Bank talks of inclusive growth, this is what we are talking about. Taking the growth from the base and from the bottom of the pyramid. And so the growth we are talking about is about all of the people I have seen here. Now, for us at the Central Bank of Nigeria, what we are trying to do is to take this message across all of the states of the Federation. Now, someone said 
it's uh, northern based. But I'm glad that the representative of the governor has um, reported that we are spreading it across the country. And whichever state that is ready, we will come across. And I want to believe strongly, now that we are in Enugu, we probably will be moving now to Anambra, to Awere, and to Abia, uh, other states in the southeast. Beneficiaries were encouraged to ensure prompt payment of the loan for others to also benefit. The acting director communication says the Anchor Borrowers program is for all Nigerians, regardless of tribe. We are happy that in Enugu State, we have over 5,000 farmers under this program. 2,000 and uh, 2,600, over 2,600 under the private Anchor, which is led by the Okunenemi Farms. We have uh, 2,002 under the NISA program and over 800 farmers under the refund and we expect this number to grow exponentially with time as other farmers get ready to join the, 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 the bandwagon. We are very happy to have these materials to distribute today and uh, we thank the farmers, they are very passionate about it and this will go further to you know, encourage other farmers who are not on this program to join. Enugu State has a lot of potential for rice production. And it's not just rice. We look forward to the time when um, activities will move from rice to other crops under this program. And we are very glad that uh, the turnout is so large and the farmers are ready to get to the farm. And we are happy to uh, the supporters, other, other partners that we have. We have Unity Bank. They are here working with us to get together the farmers and to prepare their finances. We also are happy with refund. Refund has been a great supporter of this program, a backbone, a pillar in this program. So we are very grateful to the Rice Farmers Association of Nigeria for this. And we also encouraged, we are also encouraged by our subsidiary, NISA. As the great farmers of Cross River and Enugu states enjoy the Anchor Borrower support, more farmers and more states in the south, south and southeast are to key into the program.